Kia ora. Uh, thanks everyone for having us here. I want to echo something Ellie said at the start, which is we're all so happy to be here. We all feel extremely welcomed by New Zealand. I'd say it's like the most welcoming uh, country I've ever been in since my first visit in 2011. So thank you for having us here. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about, about what I'm working on. Um, I'm an investor at a venture capital firm called Founders Fund. Uh, we're based in San Francisco. Uh, we're in our sixth fund. We've invested in uh, many companies over the years. Um, my background, and I'll, I'll talk through some of those companies and really how we're approaching things um, and how I approach things as an investor. My background's as an engineer. I uh, originally worked at SpaceX, spent some time at Bain & Company trying to learn, then started my own company um, and started as an investor about six years ago. So we make investments all over the world. Um, these are some of our uh, more well-known companies. Um, you can tell it's kind of all over the place, everything from social media to music to cancer drugs to um, you name it, kind of to rockets, uh, to a company I used to work at. So really a uh, wide range of things that we like to invest in, every stage, every sector, every geography. Um, and so that's included New Zealand, uh, where I've invested personally in one company and where our fund invested in 8i. Um, and Tony from 8i, the COO, is here also. So uh, if you want to hear what, what it's like to work with us, or work with me at least, uh, for better or for worse, <laughs> she can fill you in. Um, and so we're going to hear from a few other investors today. I think we're all going to share a few common themes. One is we want to invest in companies that are making a really positive impact and that we think can be sustainable large businesses uh, led by teams that we really believe in and think are always going to try and do the right thing. Um, so then the question becomes, what is each of us doing differently or what's, what's our different angle on that end goal? And so um, what I'll talk about is Really, what do we try and invest in, apart from really everything, every stage, every sector, um, any geography, really just where the, where the greatest high-impact company is going to come from? Um, and the one rule we have is we invest in founders. Um, so people, I think, think sometimes that with a name like Founders Fund, it's all about our team, and our team has started companies before, and that sort of thing. But it's actually the opposite. It's about the founders of these companies. And at the end of the day, we view every company that we invest in as that team's company, not our company. Um, we're really backing that entrepreneur and their life's mission and vision uh, and trying to be as helpful as we can in that. And one form of that is capital, another form is advice, and another form can sometimes be protecting them from other investors. Um, so the first, it's almost like a Hippocratic oath. It's, it's like first do no harm, back what they're doing. Uh, they're gonna run with it better than we ever could. Um, so that translates into a few rules that we use to kind of live out that mission. We have never fired a founder from their own company. Uh, and usually if other people are trying to get rid of that founder, we will defend as strongly as we can against that. Um, we don't require a board seat. Sometimes we will take one uh, to help protect the company from other investors. And we view ourselves as supporters and not micromanagers. Um, so that's our philosophy of, of how we try and invest. And I, I certainly try and live that out every day. Um, some people then ask, okay, that sounds great. Um, why are you here in New Zealand? Why is, th why is this the place? Um, I could explain why, why those other investments were made, why 8i was made, how that connection to Wellington and the com computer graphics and visual effects world, in our view, really enabled that company uh, to be a world leader, the best volumetric uh, video capture company in the world for VR and AR. Um, now, that's one example. There's going to be many more, and I probably won't even be able to predict uh, where those are going to come from. Um, but here's a few theories. And my guess is that the next great company to come out of New Zealand or the next five great companies may not even be in these sectors. But if I had to pick, I'd say uh, these are four industries where, in my view, New Zealand has huge expertise and where its position geographically in the world can actually be an advantage. Um, and the way it works with government can be an advantage. So. Blockchain and drones, um, I think we've heard a lot about those, certainly about blockchain uh, this week. And I think the regulatory climate here, the ability to work with government uh, for companies to innovate and say, this is what we're trying to do, is this something we can, we can do here, uh, is a huge advantage for New Zealand. Um, and then obviously expertise in graphics, expertise in agriculture. So um, my goal uh, going forward 
uh, through the fellowship is going to be to try and meet uh, the next great companies to come out of New Zealand, hopefully fund them, help them find capital if it's not us, um, and just generally be a supporter of what they're doing. Thank you.